we were in zero points, only nine rebounds. Tonight he had double double performance, twenty one points, eleven rebounds. Pang bowling na uh, performance kado? Um, it doesn't matter as long as uh, we get to win, di ba sabi ko sa interview. So as long as kami na nanalo kami, so sa amin naman lahat yun eh. So pag nanalo yung team, lahat kami happy. So it doesn't matter kung sino yung miscore sa amin. And then alam ko naman maraming score sa amin eh. So I'm just doing my role. Sabi ni Coach, gawin ko na yung role ko sa team. So that's it. Now I want to ask about TJ McDaniels, Raymond. Three wins, all with him. Paano niya kayo tinutulungan or na-encourage? Like play better, to be like better players in and outside the court. I think it will start on the practice. So, sobrang ano, um, positive niya sa practice, kahit na nung uh, bagong dating niya. Um, sabi niya lang sa amin, basta one game at a time. So yun, nakukuha na namin yung momentum namin. And then, sabi ni Coach, uh, mag-enjoy lang kami. Um, kasi mahaba pa yung ano eh. Um, marami pa kami mga games. So, hindi namin alam po ano mangyayari. So, ito. Um, at, at, um, I hope na magdiridiretso. Yes, I think Raymond is correct when he said that the level of practice has really improved uh, since KJ got here. Um, our practices are pretty intense. Everybody goes hard in practice and it's starting to show on the basketball court. Um, I always like when guys practice well because normally it translates to the game, and that's what's been happening with us lately. Coach, in the first part, of the first half of this game, um, he and he made about nine three-point shots, but in the second half, we're able to limit them. What changed, and what were the players able to do? Specifically? Yeah, well, um, their import shot the ball very well in the first half, and he opened up the floor for them. And he was able to dish out from some three-point shots. Uh, we basically stayed with the same game plan we had from the start of the game. We didn't really change much at halftime. We just wanted to play a little bit better, um, and be a little bit more intense on defense. Um, we had a few days to be able to go over, over their offense, so we were able to do that in practice. So we just kind of like tightened the screws a little bit defensively in the second half. Can I open the floor to questions? Um, yes, kasi more ilalim lang ako eh. So, um, he's uh, mostly playing outside pero alam niya naman kung kailan siya <laughs> didiin sa game eh. So, he's a veteran. So, basta ako ginagawa ko na yung role ko. Tsaka lagi lang ako sinasabi ni coach na sa uh, ilalim ako. And then, pag tumira siya, getting the offensive rebounds. So, I think it will, it will help the team. Well, this was a big win for us, a huge win, because getting past TNT is something that you don't do every conference. So it certainly gives us a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, that's for sure. And we still have tough games coming up. We still play San Miguel, we still play Magnolia, then we have Inlex. So uh, we still have a tough road to go, but winning this game really helps our chances a great deal. So we'll just keep working in practice. Like I said, practice has been really, really good for the last three weeks, and we just want to continue to do that, continue to build. The one important thing that's happened in the last couple of weeks or since KJ came into the team is the fact that we're playing much better defense now. Um, defensively, we're back to being our old selves again. And that's what, that's what it's going to take for us to be able to make it to the playoffs. Coach, you've, been, uh, you've mentioned before that you just want to see your players play better basketball. Yeah. Uh, how do you like the progress now, especially after uh, earning a third grade? Well, I really like it because we had a lot of balance tonight. Um, Raymond really stepped up and, and did a great job for us, getting a double-double and scoring a lot of points around the basket. My import gets a lot of attention on the floor. They double-team him a lot. They help defensively. Sometimes they don't even guard Raymond on the defensive end. They just basically leave Raymond to roam around underneath the basket. So he's taking advantage of it. And more importantly, the players are starting to understand spacing and how we can use their defense against them to be able to score points. So we did a very good job of that today. I was really happy with the balance of the team today.
Hello, mate. 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 Well, I think I've said this already, but really the plan was when we recruited him was to keep him in the third conference. Um, we didn't know we would make this run like we're making right now, but we thought we would have a better chance of winning with him here. And if he played well, then we could just carry him over to, to the next conference. But it looks like he can compete even at this. He's just like Justin Brownlee. He can compete even at the uh, unlimited height. So he gives us a chance of winning every game. I wanted to ask about Christoph Gerardo, which was asked before. Mm -hmm. His defense on Mikey Williams, yeah. and also your overall perimeter defense in the second half and limited defense. Limited them to just three three points per match up. Yeah, CB, well, maybe I shouldn't say this because he might not want me to, but yeah, he, he took on the challenge. I mean, he was the one that said in practice, I'll be the one to guard Mikey Williams. And he was saying it during timeouts too. You know, I'll be the one to pick him up. So, um, I, I like that. I like when a guy accepts a challenge. Mikey Williams is one of the best players in the league, and CB took on the challenge tonight. So that's not to say Mikey Williams didn't play well, but I thought CB did a good job out there to, to at least control him a little bit. And um, yeah, CB in the last three games has really picked up his game. He's really playing well, and he's one of the reasons why we've been winning the last three games.